Hey there, Jester's Court. Uh, you guys know how I know that we're a real sport? You want to know how I know? I'll tell you how I know we're a real sport. Real sports, at the end of their season, highlight their players, right? But one type of award, more than any in these sports, uh, catches my attention because it's it's the it's the all main stage sort of performance like the all nba team the all nfl team the all mlb team like there's there's this group of folks that are just prolific and it's not really argued it's just these are the folks who are like right there ready to change the world well today for our award breakdown on our 13th season of High School Jester's 2021-22 uh, season, we're going to be breaking down the second team main stage cast for High School Jester's. What's that mean? Well, I'll let Kopi himself tell you. Let's bring him on in. Kopi! Hi, Kope. Yo. Yo. Um, what's this main stage cast all about? Yeah, it, it, Warren said exactly that. It's it's essentially a way to, that leagues will say that these are the cream of the crop uh, as far as a performer. Um, well, as far as a player. And we say the word performer because that's what we do. We perform uh, in our competitions. So this is our way of saying um, an investor comes along, hands Kopi and Warren a ton of money and says, hey, let's, let's take you to the big show, kids. Um, these are the students I would say, let's go to the big show. Uh, let's put you on a stage because of what you're capable of and let's put on the best show we can possibly put on now yes. I would argue that the main stage casts definitely don't get the love uh, they deserve every year mm -hmm. but it's something that I'm adamant about putting out because mm -hmm. it does recognize uh, extra students and more students um, than just a, the six spots that nominees get uh, in right. an award yeah so I think that it's really important to, to highlight these uh, and the second and first team. So I'm gonna start with the second team. Um, essentially, this is a group that I would take professionally uh, if I could to some sort of performing venue. And then we will do another video announcing the first team uh, that we would do that with. So here's a, here's a couple of fun numbers for you, Warren. Yay, I love digits, let's go. Uh, only 163. Uh, main stage spots have been given out uh, over our 13 years, uh, and that's to roughly 10,000 students. So only 163 spots have been given out and wow. 113 uh, different students occupy those 163 spots. Wow. That really puts it into a lot of perspective. You know, even though we award a good dozen or so in each list each year, um, that's still such a finite number kids like there's a lot of students who've rolled through this league and experienced this in one way or another only 113 unique choices on this list that's a wild stat and here's two more real simple ones uh there's only three students in our league history that have been selected to the main stage cast all four years of high school wow yeah no kidding Yep. Uh, and only one of those students got the first team all four years. So mm -hmm. kind of neat. Uh, and then uh, even a step further, only five students have been selected three times. So okay. that, that's how tight these numbers are. Did any so, of those especially small and significant numbers go up this year? We do have a couple that are adding another number to their list. Okay. Uh, and I'll just highlight them as we go. Oh, well, uh, here we go, folks. Let's just jump right in. Uh, this is our second team main stage cast. These are like the ones uh, that couldn't, that, like, let's say we don't have budgets to pay everybody a million dollars. You're the ones who are be humble enough to accept uh, $500,000 as your salary. <laughs> so thank you, kids, for being so humble. Hopefully a half a million is. Okay oh boy. I first faces I'm seeing have me smile on the inside. This is so exciting for me. Oh boy. Do I gut reaction all the way through? 
Uh, let's go through it together. Let's do it. Start at yeah. the top. Um, okay. So we'll, when we'll read it like a book, like the last, the last video, left like to right, books. top to bottom. Books. All right, words. Uh, second team main stage selection, uh, Mona Agdasi from Bonanza. Um, Mona has kind of come in this year and just blew some doors off the hinges. Mm -hmm. Um, and has, has kind of shocked a lot of us it, it, as far as what you're capable of. Um, if you aren't a gigantic reason why Bonanza has uh, surprised us all mm -hmm. in, in what you've been able to do, I, I mean, you're a hundred percent it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I said it in your all-star selection, man, what could have been had we had you those couple extra years, we missed you. Mm -hmm. um, but your senior year, you're owning it, owning it, mm -hmm. owning it. So Mona, yeah, I, I would gladly pay you to be a part of a show <laughs> and do this at a bigger <laughs> level. <laughs> do you accept our offer? Sign on yeah. the dotted line. Um, uh, fictitious that being money. Said, yeah, fictitious <laughs> money, fictitious, <laughs> fictitious futures, fictitious wise investments of our lives. Uh, anyway, um, Mona, you're, I, I only saw you in one show, but I, I sensed it. You're clearly a conduit of the energy flowing through Bonanza. And we're extremely lucky to see you come and return to form, but not just return, but exceed in your final year in Jesters, uh, what we expected from you on so many levels. I'm really glad you've had such a cool feel-good story and been a part of such a cool feel-good story as a part of Bonanza's return. And we'll remember what you've done for this school for years to come. So welcome. And I'm so glad you made this list. Uh, but it seems like this list also jumped on the Bonanza bandwagon like I did a few weeks ago because we it's caught a little rash of Bonanza. And we've, we've got another one. What's this one? That, well, um, part of that is just alphabetical order. But uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Aiden Ahern uh, yeah. is on our second team main stage cast. So cool. Yeah, it Aiden was a rookie of the year nominee last year yep. uh, in online improv world. And uh, Aiden definitely came to life in online improv world. Mm -hmm. um, and so that means Aiden had to figure out how to take all of that and then add it to this world, the mm -hmm. us being in person world. Uh, and man, I just that first round of playoff show, uh, I mean, Aiden was dynamite. Aiden just laid down a gauntlet and said, Hey guys, uh, I'm going to help make sure we advance to this next round. Um, and Aiden is capable of that. Just mm -hmm. fun, creative, high energy, just putting yourself out there um, and doing some good work while he's doing it. So yeah, Aiden, you got to be recognized at a higher level. Uh, welcome to the main stage cast. You know, I, I, it may just be because I coached Aiden's sister for a while over at Sierra Vista. Um, but I feel like I knew this kid was going to come installed with plenty to do um, improvisationally. Right. I knew he was going to be ready to play hard. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he was in the audience when his sister would play for Sierra Vista back in my days. So he's learned coming in what, what his goals are to succeed in this world and he's not afraid and we feel it. And there's so much energy and creativity. He reminds me of a young Gio Cervoni, uh, which is a compliment. Yeah. Um, so like, go <laughs> keep going. The sky is the limit for this young sophomore. Keep your eye on Aiden Ahern. Uh, like we have kept an eye on another fantastic student all year as they've adapted through some of the most interesting improv improvisational situations we can ask them to be put through and they love it anyway and they do it like a pro and they hold themselves like an icon it's wonderful to see Harley on this list oh yeah uh, Harley has wanted this year to go this way so much um, and uh, well, and, and I would extend that out and say more than just this year, but, um, these, like this list, these awards, they have to acknowledge what happens now, what, what's happening on stage 
you know, th there's some students that don't get considered for certain things because they didn't do enough shows. I mean, I mean, there's just, there's extenuating circumstances for certain situations. And if I'm looking at the body of work that Harley did this year in their shows, um, it definitely warranted some higher, some higher praise. Good. So <laughs> yeah. And, and Harley deserves to be on this list. Yeah. So Harley, I know you always wanted this and I deservingly hand you the golden ticket. Harley, you may have caught me throwing some elbows out there for you in the mosh pit, trying to get Kopi to see you as an MVP nod. <laughs> um, you know, you, you know, I'm a fan. Uh, I have a ton of respect for you. You are the epitome of what an improviser is. Um, so I can give no better compliment than, than that in the context of this award for you. Um, I'm glad you're here. You totally deserve it. So we'll keep it simple. And then we've got twin fever. Um, take them in do it, every, everything's better in twos, they say. So here comes Aaron and Ashley Byers from West tech who have gained all sorts of momentum for that school this year. Uh, tell me why they both get the nod on the second team. Well, I will talk about them individually. Uh, Cause I know that's a thing. Um, but uh, real yeah. quick, they are the only two on this main stage cast that this is their second time making it onto yeah. the main stage cast. Yeah. Um, so everyone else on this particular cast, uh, this is their first time. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that first time for all of them. And Ashley and Aaron, this is your second. Uh, I'll start with Ashley. Uh, by now, uh, everyone has seen the most improved nominee award. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, Ashley making it into that particular award. Um, I've, I've kind of always known what Ashley has been capable of because she, sh she shows it so instinctively, uh, and reactionary and mm -hmm. that's normally truth. That's normally truth when it comes out, uh, quick, when it comes out right away, when it doesn't have right. some padded thought behind it. So yeah. the truth filtered, the if you will. Right. The truth is, is Ashley is really good at doing this. So uh, it she has to be in the main stage cast. She has to be here, even if she fights me for it. Um, and then if right. we if we flip over to Aaron, uh, Aaron is definitely different. Aaron is not like Ashley um, to where, yes, they are twins and sisters and family. And I, and I think they're very close. Um, Aaron is much more confident standing there and saying what she thinks, feels, can do. I, <laughs> I, I, I remember watching Aaron play a round of dating, dating app and Aaron was doing the swiping and Aaron would, would keep all of the people that could like do her harm, <laughs> all, all of these weird characters. And she would find ways to like twist it into these fun, interesting concepts. And I think at one point I looked at Ashley and I went, I'm really worried for her. <laughs> it's Aaron has this weird power um, behind her perform performance that's A, enjoyable as an audience, but B, just like, holy cow, like, where is this inside of you? And how do you two differ? Like, what, what is the line that make you two that different? Um, which is why I have to talk about you guys separately and differently. So, oh, uh, sure. yeah, I, I nicknamed Ashley the Juggernaut and I gave Aaron Iago from, from uh, Aladdin. Exactly. Okay, Jafar. Because Jafar needed Iago to, to look good for sure. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Couldn't do it without him. Right. Um, yeah. And I, you know, I introduced them as a joint project. I know that's disrespectful to twins. So I didn't mean any disrespect to you two specifically, but both of you kids clearly different. Yep. I think from what I know of them, I don't think they take it that way. I, okay. I, I think they're, they are super close and I think there's a, there's a fair amount of respect between them about that. Um, but they also know just how different they are as people. So, um, and here they both shine. They're both yeah. stars here. You know, a lot of different types of stars can shine in the gesture sky. So uh, I'd like to think that a lot of people do, but um, you twins especially get to have your own carved out paths, even with the same last name at the same school, you know, under the same coach in the same era, 
you two still distinctively carve your own paths and we're glad you both were able to carve your way to the second team main stage uh as i am excited to see another first timer here who definitely has all my respect uh right here in a little handbag that i carry around this is my respect um jessica jesselhart love you kid over at a tech you're just killer this year so killer You've been amazing, uh, really keeping the energy and the commitment and the reactionary impulses of past ATEC teams alive while still keeping it oh so, Jessica. I'm glad you're here. Kopi is too, and here's why. Yeah, Jessica, it, it, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but if, you're, if your parents ever bought you shoes when you were younger or your family ever bought you shoes when you were younger that were too big, and then they tell you, ah, you're just, you'll grow into them. You'll be fine. Um, just this year, it just, it was all cylinders. You, mm-hmm. you, you grew into everything we knew you could do. Um, and yeah, you, you've, you're just doing some lights out stuff. Um, and, and it's all you, I mean, I think, yeah, good coaching and, and good experiences, all that stuff can come into play, mm-hmm. but song will be the first to say, man, you're just, you're firing, you're going, you're, you're doing it. what you're capable of. Mm-hmm. So please take this with you as you continue through these playoffs. Don't take your foot off the gas. No, we know what you can do. Keep your foot on the gas. Go. Yeah. You, you deserve this acknowledgement because uh, you earned it and just keep doing what you're doing. Yep. You're, you're doing everything right. When you, when you react, others react with you and it's making everything better over there. So uh, great power over with Jessica. Uh, so Cheyenne has a representative here, uh, our beloved Susan. I'll just let you take it away. I, I don't know what else to say, man. I, I just, Susan, I should almost create a different cat like award for you and right and there's a couple of people that we're about to talk about that would fit right in that category with you <laughs> and um it, we i don't know if we've ever had a student like you i mean maybe if we want to compare but we shouldn't you you just you mystify us every week and i don't know if that's intentional or if that's not accident but man uh your perspective is worth hearing and and worth having an audience. So I you deserve to have some praise and I would gladly put you in front of an audience to to let them hear what you have to offer. I've said it before that one of my favorite things to look for when I go to see a jester show these days is just something different, you know, yeah. especially at the high school level, you see so many memes, you see so many inside jokes, you see so many copy bald jokes. You guys get where I'm going with this. Um, Susan does really, even if they, even if they lean on those tropes, they're doing it in a way that's different from everybody else. And it's effortless. It's natural. It's, it's, it's almost accidental sometimes. And it's so cool. Um, Cause that's just how Susan's brains work, brain works. So unique, unique, unique is the word of the day with Susan. And of course, that's enough for a 2022 second team, all stars, main gestures cast. It's 2.30 in the morning. Sorry. (laughs) Um, Next student, though, will wake me right back up because it fills my heart with joy to know Sarah Miller is going to be cemented into a main stage cast because this kid, if nothing, with with their heart alone, with just their, their, their soul, their sweetness, their heart, alone worthy of a main stage cast list nomination uh this makes me feel great go ahead cope yeah and and this one might be the most overdue name on the on Yay. the list someone who say that who uh definitely fought to to get onto this list over time so um yeah what, what sarah's capable of is is extraordinary and what Sarah does is extraordinary. So uh, the two meet in the middle and we just get to witness it and be a part of it. So um, yeah, Sarah, I'd gladly take you on this boat and, uh, and show you off to the world. So um, yeah, you, you are always welcome in this house. So thank you, Sarah. You're so full of heart that you don't know why no has to even be thought that you have in your head like you don't think no 
I've never heard you say no. You might go, I'm a little uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's how she works. And that's the definition of an improviser. Um, in the very same way as, as Harley, like you embody what this league is about as far as being flexible, adaptable, playful, fun, um, kind, just uh, unbelievably kind. So, so such a blessing. Please protect Sarah Miller at all costs. That is a national treasure there. Nathan Olson at Silverado, another lawn overdue, but he's had a lot of other teammates with flashier mouths maybe <laughs> over the years to maybe keep him from that kind of a distinction, but it's time. He yeah. Has given so much to Silverado and therefore the league after these four years. Welcome to the main stage cast, bud. Yeah, it, it is. It does feel a little weird to say this is your first. Um, y- yes. So Silverado has been just on, on a different path uh, for years now. Right. Yeah. On, online improv for them, for me, was so fun to watch. And, and I know Nathan shakes his head about it, but I mean, they did an improv scene in the pool, guys, and they submitted that for their show. Um, and that's that's kind of made a splash. That's yeah, kind of what it's like doing improv over at Silverado. It's just it's 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 everyone getting in this pool and and trying to make the most out of it and looking around and figuring out what's funny about it. And uh, the reason the exact reason why Nathan's on this list is because Nathan, for the majority of this season, has been creating something out of nothing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Roman didn't give them a prompt for a coin toss in this first round of the playoff show. Oh, wow. And Nathan just stood there and made us laugh. Wow. I just, he just talked himself into a joke. Um, I, I was, I was, I really wanted to call out Roman and be like, what are you doing? But then once Nathan started talking, I was like, ah, that's okay. He could talk. <laughs> yep. he'll, he'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, Nathan, you absolutely should be on this list. I said you were funny a couple videos ago. I said you should keep being funny when you graduate because you've got the talent for it. You've got the poise for it. You've got the, the, the ability to just throw something out there with a nonchalance that just makes an audience member forgive you if it doesn't go well like that. Um, we know you're good for the second one. That's a gift. That is a darn gift. So please use it. That's just honesty. So welcome to the main stage cast. We would love to watch you perform and entertain us for years to come. Marlene Rocha Diaz of Clark High School, another lawn standing name over at Clark. And it's putting all the pieces together at the right time in such a magical way. And it's fun to see so many different Clarkians get recognized throughout these lists uh, as the nights have gone on. So cool to see Marlene appear in the first time on one of these lists and take it away why marlene here now i wonder if at clark because it seems like just all things are hitting at the same time if they're kind of all looking around at each other like man like you do this i do that and yeah in marlene's case marlene was on the most improved list last year um uh i think before last year um even like freshman marlene just there was this natural goofiness that uh, I think set Marlene aside and it, it's it's easy to just, just stand there and kind of say yes to someone maybe right um, but that's not the way Marlene ever did anything Mar- Marlene never could just stand there Marlene would always go in with something some way um, and Marlene's capable of so much there's there's such a utility player in what Marlene does and I, I know I've talked to Jarrell about the team and, and how those players are doing and Jarrell knows whatever he needs done, Marlene can do it. So yeah, Marlene's definitely got to be on this list. Super cool. Yeah. Uh, the ability to do anything is not something that comes naturally for most improvisers. There's usually a couple of niches that they start with and then they kind of grow out. And uh, maybe that is the way you grew Marlene, but now you've reached that point where you're comfortable with all of it enough, where you're fearless, you're encouraging you're flexible adaptable and above all you're entertaining and we are i mean clark's blessed to have you because you've turned into the swiss army knife of improvisers for them 
Um, and you're, a lot of the tools in your kit are sharper than many. So gosh, who wouldn't want you on their team is the bottom line. And those kind of kids end up on lists like this. So congratulations. This one's a cool one. Uh, Connor Segura of East Tech jumped out at me right off the bat in week one. And um, I haven't seen him perform too much throughout the season, but it's memorable. So not a shocker to see him on this list means that each other touch he's had up there has been memorable enough to lump into that first week. Kobe, give it to us straight. Why Connor? Um, I want to see a YouTube show hosted by Connor and Susan. I just, there's no one like these two. Connor, um, I, I just, I hope that 100% of what you are on stage is who you are in real life because it's so unique and it's worth eyes watching you. Uh, and I mean, I, I don't, you know what, maybe Connor, maybe you don't even like improv. Let's just pretend that for a second. Let's pretend you don't like doing this. Uh, I think the value it, that you gain from the experience of learning timing and joke telling and how to communicate and this, all this yes and stuff, it's only going to make who you are as this wild, intense, charismatic person. Mm -hmm. It's just going to make you climb to the top of whatever mountain you want to climb. Mm -hmm. um, and you will probably make your own mountain. So Mm -hmm. uh yeah it, it just you are setting yourself up for such a fun ride of life uh just with the way that you act and carry yourself uh, on an improv stage so wow. um i'm assuming you like improv i'm just just that's just an assumption but yeah this is definitely a fun home for you I, i'm glad that we get this experience with you you deserve to be on this list that's cool um Electricity is how I've described Connor like lightning and Susan can therefore be the bottle if they were to get started doing that show there. Uh, I could definitely see the dynamic fitting that way. And, you know, I, 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 I think I said Connor with excitement in earlier on in the season before you did. So, you know, you I definitely smell this coming. There's just something about the way he commits to his decision, performs it flawlessly and then there's the hilarity of falling back into the less committed version of him where he'll, we'll just wait for the next electric pop, you know, and we're waiting for it. Like he's got us. It's done already. We're already on the hook. Like watch that kid. So dude, <laughs> what an, what a recipe, what an interesting approach. I hope you love this because we like when people love this, but if you don't and you're just kind of faking it, then you're just a natural at being entertaining. So yikes to the world, whatever he right. chooses to entertain you with will be <laughs> one of a kind. It's right. true. I get what you're saying. Yep. Um, this is a fun inclusion. I remember us talking about Belle several times throughout the year for Shadow Ridge High School. Uh, and now she's making her first appearance on an all-star, or excuse me, all Jester's main stage cast, the second one this year, and the first Shadow Ridge student to ever make a main stage cast, which is a wonderful distinction for you, Belle. You've been maybe the most reliable name that we've talked about from that school in my mind throughout the year. Um, talk to me, Kopi. Why Belle? Well, um, I... I... I made the choice to talk about Shadow Ridge in the All-Star video when Kaylee got the All-Star nod, um, kind of saying that it's it feels like a group of misfits. And I mean that in, in the best way I can. Right, simply lots of be, love. Be, simply because of how different you all are, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're that different, you all add something else to the to the table, right? Mm -hmm. So Bell, Bell has this kind of unforgivable, um, like... Uh, presence, persona, way of carrying herself in mm -hmm. in performance, and it's this take it or leave it. Uh, we're going my way, um, uh, and I don't mean that in a directional for a scene work side. I'm just th this is what you're getting. You're getting all of this with no hesitation. Um, and when this year, when she's being a hundred percent who she is as a person. And it was actually adding to the direction of scene work and right. adding to progression and yeah. helping people go places. 
um, yeah, it's stellar. It's that's everything you want when you're actually trying to do good work up there. So, yeah. um, and to boot, she's funny. So, uh, if you can be good, be present and be funny, then yeah, it, let's, let's pay this one and, uh, and bring her on the boat. So bell. Yeah. You deserve to be here. If I were to compare bell to a piece of architecture, she would be the Hoover dam because she has got the creativity to unleash a massive amount of overflow, which can overwhelm. But this year, she learned how to mitigate that flow so that only the most constructive, powerful parts made it through to really give purpose to what was going on instead of letting that overflow completely drown away what could have been good improv scenes. Learning how to mitigate what you can bring to the table is a skill in improv because some of us are able to think of six, seven, eight, nine different things we want to do at the same time. And then we make the mistake of trying to do them all. You got to learn how to, well, damn yourself up a little bit. So Bell, congrats on taking a massive step forward, learning a lot about what you can do, but more importantly, how you can do it constructively. And that's a mark of a main stage cast member too. Absolutely. Congrats you 12 for making this list for 10 of you for the first time and that's just awesome to see because we did get to say some names out loud we haven't gotten to say enough these last couple nights and it's been so cool to know that you're recognizing these names too sometimes Kopi while I don't know all of them up there I know that a couple of them I know and I'm like cool I'm glad we're on common ground on a couple of these I've been doing this with you a long time and I, I, I know I've told you in past years one after the other it's like I think I'm learning a little bit more I think I'm learning a little bit more. I think I'm learning a little more. It really is true this year. Um, and it's I'm, I'm really glad that we have some common ground on this list. Can't wait to see if it carries true for tomorrow's video, kids, where we'll be breaking down all of the first team main stage cast member uh, recipient nominees. Uh, we'll see if we can get through that video in one piece and we'll see you tomorrow with the result. Have a good night.